Welcome, adventurers, LARPers, and Ren Fair enthusiasts. My name is St. Godric, and today I'm talking about how your LARP and you personally can utilize a wiki. Let's get to it. So two of the main LARPs that I play uh, are Ampgard and Belgarth, and both utilize a wiki system to keep track of all of their information, players, realms, events, and it's a super useful tool. So I'm going to start off this video by just showing you what the wikis look like and their uses, and if you're an organizer of a LARP who doesn't use a wiki, I would encourage you to do so. And then the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to go in and as a player to utilize the wiki, why you should do so, and how to do it. So let's get to it. So I've got the two wikis pulled up here. Uh, the first is the AmpGuard wiki or Amped wiki. Uh, functions very much like a Wikipedia that you're familiar with. Anybody can go in and edit. You can make a page for yourself or different rules and different things like that. Incredibly, incredibly useful. So here on the homepage, uh, the main thing, the main usefulness for the wiki is it is a central place that is searchable for all of your rules for your game. So for instance, in AmpGuard where there are classes, I can click on the classes link and I can scroll down here and I can say I want to play Druid. I click on Druid and it pulls up all the rules that I need to know, all of the spells, all in one place. And then say I'm reading through this, I'm making my spell list, Corrosive Mist, I don't know what that does. I pull, click on it and it pulls up the entire uh, spell, all the things that you need. Very, very useful. Everything's clickable. If I have a question, what's an enchantment? I go and I click on enchantment. It says you need colored strips. I click on that. It tells me what I need. It is incredibly helpful as a player to be able to come in and just quickly search through and find the information that you need for your game. If we come back here to the home screen, it's also got the rule book, uh, levels, the monster manual, how to create weapons, how to create garb, tutorials. It also has information about chapters uh, in kingdoms. So these are what AmpGuard uses uh, to separate out the different groups. You can go in, find anything that you need like that. You can also come over here and look at events. Uh, over here are the kingdoms. So I can come up here, click on my kingdom, Winner's Edge, scroll down. It's got the logo. It's got who's in charge here. Uh, so if I want to go and, oh, Subway's in charge, who's that? You know, and it's got information here if I need to go and find uh, these different people. It's got information on the parks, where they're located. Very, very useful. So if we come over here to the Belagarth page, very similar setup, looks a little bit different, but we've got people, uh, units. These are the different groups that you can kind of hang out with and fight with. If you're interested in a particular unit, you can come in here and just click on one and it tells you who they are, what they do, you know, all the information that they want you to know. They also have uh, realms. These are their local chapters, their local groups. The Book of War, which are their, is their rules. You can come in here and you can see all of the different things. And these are, you can click on them and it goes into more specific details. Again, very, very helpful. If you are an operator of a LARP or you're thinking about starting one, I would highly recommend setting up a wiki. It's pretty cheap, pretty cost effective, and it is very easy for people to come in, uh, search, find information in a very timely manner. Highly recommend that every LARP out there should create a wiki to be able to keep up with all the information. So now we're back at the Amped Wiki, and I'm going to pull up my page, and I want to show you why, as a player, you should utilize a wiki. First and foremost, uh, it has all of your information in one spot, so it's fun just to make, keep up with, add, but then if people throughout the game are coming to find you for different reasons, uh, whether that's they're making an award for you or they're just trying to get some more information about you, figure out who you are, it's an incredible easy way for people to do that. So the first thing you'll see here is this giant long title. Uh, these are all of the different things that you have done that you have earned in the game. So for me, I have Count, which is my highest nobility that I have earned so far. Saint, which is the, the honorific I took when I got knighted. Godric Gray, which is my name. Esquire, ESQ there, which is just a, a, an award that I got early on. The Dragon of the North, which is my like honorific that I took when I got knighted. Pandemic Reclaimer, which is a title that I was given when I served in Kingdom Office. Founding Freedom Fighter of Tyrant's Thorn, which is my park. Kingdom of Winter's Edge. So all right here, very important uh, information. This is where you kind of throw all your info. But you can see here, like on Tyrant's Thorn, I can click on it and it takes you to my park page. Got the heraldry of the park. Very useful. Same thing with Kingdom. We already did that. 
Now, the next thing here that I have on mine, preferred title for scrolls. So if someone were to come on here and they want to, they're making a scroll, they've been assigned one from kingdom, whatever, uh, to come in here and they see this giant long title. I don't want that on my scrolls, right? That would take up the whole page. My preferred title for scrolls, St. Godric Gray, Dragon of the North. Nice and simple. That's what I would prefer. We put that there so it's easy for people to find. I then have a photo of myself. You can upload whatever photo you like. This is just nice so people can put a name with the face. Then have my personal heraldry with my um, like logo, my saying, I guess, my phrase, catchphrase. And then I've got my heraldry itself. Reason this is helpful is if someone, again, is making you scrolls, you can come and click on, they can click on this, download this file, and then use it uh, for references and different things like that. So highly recommend that you put those in. Next on here, you'll see my belted family. And so this is a way that if you are in a belted family, a knight, a squire, an at-arms, or a page, this is kind of just a way to keep track of it. Uh, this is kind of complicated how this is all set up. Uh, if you would like to see a video rundown specifically of belted families and how that works and how to show them on the wiki, let me know in the comments below. But Gl Sir Glavis is my grand knight. Sir Navrin is my knight. Then me. Then all, you know, Madness, um, Haliax, and Parhelion, who are my squires. Balto, who is a man-at-arms to Madness. You get the point. Cool thing about all these, you can click on these and instantly go, say, I'm reading through this and I want to go find more out about Madness. Takes you right to his page. Lord, Madness Gray of Tyrant's Thorn and Winter's Edge. His phrase, suck it up, buttercup. Shows you what fighting company he's a part of. And we... Why this is important is if someone's coming to make an award or they're trying to get information, I scroll down. Oh, cool. Here's his heraldry. I know exactly what I should use. Looks like he's a fighter. Good to know. Major accomplishments, notable accomplishments. You see, oh, he's won some kingdom level tournaments. Good to know. You then see, oh, affiliated groups. This is his fighting company. So when I click on that, it then brings up the logo for the fighting company. Maybe I want to introduce that into or incorporate that into the award that I'm making. Just you can kind of see how quickly this and how helpful this becomes uh, for those who are making awards. Anyway, uh, back to mine. So after my belted family, I have affiliated groups. Uh, these are the groups that I am currently a part of. So I've got uh, my fighting company and then I've also got my uh, household, one of the households that I'm a part of. Then home parks. You won't see this on all of them, uh, but I like this. This just keeps track of where I've played through the years. And then previous affiliated groups, these are fighting companies that I was a part of, and then belt lines that I was a part of before this one. And then down here in notable accomplishments, uh, this is where you can keep track of all of the cool stuff you've done, whether it's tournaments you've won, uh, whether it is or offices held, uh, terms held in service as a king, queen, local park level, things like that, uh, events that you've run, anything that you want to be able to keep track of and kind of be proud of you throw it in here. So like some of mine, I've got all of my kingdom level ANS wins. I've got that I'm a knight and the date on that. I've got my masterhood, you know, just things like that. Now, when you scroll down here under more information, uh, once you set it up correctly, you can go into orc. And this is super useful for people who they can just click on it and it goes right to the orc. Now, if, if you're not familiar with AmpGuard, orc stands for online records keeper. And it is the... Uh, the thing that keeps up with all of our data. And so we've got like our classes, how many credits I've earned in each class, my levels, um, all the awards that I've earned. And so say like someone is coming in here and they're trying to recommend me for an award. They can see, oh, he's got eight crowns. I want to put in a recommendation to his monarch to give him his ninth. It's all right here. Uh, if you're interested in videos specifically on the orc and tutorials on how to get this set up, let me know in the comments below too. Um, I'm thinking about making some of those. Anyway, we go back to my page and then under more information, you can put whatever information you want. For me, I have my uh, links for all of my social media here, my Patreon, my Etsy store, um, all of that information here as well. So with that, let's watch an ad.
I want to take a moment to take a break from our regularly scheduled programming and give a plug for my business, Dragon Masters. Over at Dragon Masters, I make woven belts for Amp Guard, Dagger Here, and any other LARP that you can think of. At this point, I have hundreds of belts across most of Amp Guard's kingdoms and across many different realms in Dagger Here and Belgarth. And my goal with these belts are to make belts that are going to last longer than you. My goal is to give you a legacy belt that you will be able to wear for as long as you want to wear it, but then will also be be able to pass it down to that next generation, that next player in your belt line, at your park, friend, family, whatever it happens to be. All the belts that I make are made of paracord and macrame and are made of the highest quality materials. If you're interested in taking a look at my belts, there's a link in the description below for Etsy. Uh, on there, I have all sorts of belts that are ready to ship out the next day. These are ones I've already made. But if you're interested in something custom, ch check out my Dragon Masters Facebook page. You can go through and see all of the custom work that I have ever made and I would love to get you a custom knight's belt or a custom squire belt or maybe you're looking for something in particular for a fighting company we also I will also do discounts uh, if you want to order a large amount for your fighting company your park uh, do do discounts there so thank you for listening to my plug let's get back to the main action thanks for putting up with that uh, that is how I make uh, money to be able to keep uh, going with these videos whether it's camera equipment the lights, the, the programs to edit. Uh, so I appreciate you watching through that for me. Uh, if you're interested, go check it out. So now I want to show you how you can create a page for yourself. So I'm going to come down here and my squire Parhelion does not have a page. Shame on him. So we're going to make one for him. So what you do, come in here in the search bar, type in your name and hit search. The reason you want to do that is to see if there already is a page. Sometimes people will create pages for you, like what I'm doing here with Parhelion. You just want to make sure um, that one's not already ready for you. Now, when you look here, the Grim Garrison, which is his park, has him mentioned as a park officer, I'm assuming. Uh, but when we click on the Grim Garrison, yep, right here, under people, but it's red, which means that there isn't a page created for them yet. So what we're going to do when we're on the search page here, where it says Parhelion right here, we are going to click on that and it brings up creating Parhelion the page. So what you're going to do, you can select what type of page this is and it's going to load in a template. We're going to click player and we're going to hit load. Now, a lot of this stuff we don't need right here. Delete everything above this line. Don't even got to read it. Okay. We're going to delete the line too because we don't want that. So we're going to start with the title, the highest title that he has earned. Now, why this is useful, we're going to go to the orc. We're going to search his name. Okay. Oh, he's already got his heraldry here. Nice. So we're going to look through custom award. He's got tri tribune. He's got a cyclone, which is cool but I'm not seeing any titles. So he doesn't have any uh, like Lord or lady or anything like that. So we're going to just delete this. What you can see here, these two little brackets on either side of the title, these are important because in the wiki, anything that has brackets like that is going to be a link that the per you can then follow to the next page. So if he was a count, when this loads up, count will then be a clickable link that you could go read up on counts and how do you, what do you got to do to get one, that type of thing. But because he doesn't have a title, we're going to get rid of that. All right, so his full name we're going to go look at the wiki for this and just copy paste from there. So we have Parhelion Gray, the Tribune. Okay. So we come back over here. Parhelion Gray, comma, the Tribune. Okay. Of Park, he is a part of the Grim Garrison of the Kingdom of the Rising Winds. Now, both of these are going to be clickable links. So when we get done, you'll kind of see that. Next, it says an indicative quote. If you have a quote that you want to use, you can put it in here. It's kind of a catchphrase. Uh, something that's very helpful, I haven't done yet. Um, let me pull this up. Another AMP wiki page. A tool that I use, a hint for you, go find a page of somebody who is set up well that you like the look of their page. 
And then over here in the top right, click edit. And it's going to bring up their code. You can then copy and paste and use this as formatting. Very helpful tool. Okay. So right here where it says preferred title, I don't know what his preferred title is. So I'm not going to put that in. But if I was going to, I would put it right here. I would copy paste preferred title for scrolls. And then I would fill this out, you know, par, helion, gray, the tribune. Cool. Call it done. Photograph. We'll show, show that here in a moment. All right. Affiliated groups. So I know that he is a part of the fighting company called, uh, not errant group, errant Dawn. And I'm pretty sure they have a page. So we're going to link that there. Then what we're going to do is for belted family, we're going to go in here under Godric Beltline. Now these brackets you'll notice are different. Uh, this is kind of some fancy finger work uh, to set up and get a, um, if you want to see a video on it, let me know. More complicated. You don't need to do this. I'm doing it just because I have it done already, but don't worry about it. Um, so that will now show up with our family tree. Noticeable accomplishments. He can put anything there that he needs to. More information, it's showing. We can fill that out later. He doesn't have Harold or he doesn't have a personal company. So we're going to get rid of all that. So now we're going to hit save. So we have Parhelion Gray, the Tribune of Grim Garrison, King of the Rising Winds. Now, if you remember those brackets from earlier, when you click on that, it takes you right to his park. Super helpful. Um, it's got his name. Ooh, Errant Dawn doesn't have a page. Look at that. I didn't know that. Someone in their fighting company should get on that. So now going to show you how to add a photograph. So over here where you can see on the left side where it says upload file, click on that. And then you see these up here. This is what you're going to copy paste to the code to be able to put your photo in. I'll show you an easier way how to do this here in a moment. But where it says source file, you're going to select, go in here, find whatever photo you want, upload it in. Then you're going to come down here to destination file name, Parhelion. And you're going to change that to something that you're going to remember. Uh, if there is already a file in the wiki that has that name, obviously it's not going to let you do it. Put in Parhelion 2, Parhelion, Parhelion Heraldry, whatever it is that you want. We're then going to upload file. And there's the photo. So we're going to now go back to Parhelion. And if you look now, it automatically took us to his page because he's the only Parhelion. If you are someone like me who has a more common name, Godric, right? There's a bunch of other Godrics. You'll have to click the one that you are. Uh, but Parhelion being the only Parhelion pops right up. So we're going to click up here on edit again. And then we're going to go back to my page because I like the way that I have the photo set up. So this is my photo. I'm going to come in here, copy that. Go back to his page under photograph and paste it in. Now, what we're looking at here says file Godric new, which is the name of the photo that I was using on my page. We're going to change this to the photo that we just uploaded, whatever you called that. For me, it was Parhelion. Now, 400 pixel is how big the photo is going to be. You can change this to 800 if you want a bigger photo or drop it to 200 if you want a smaller photo. And then right, this is the orientation. I want the photo on the far right side of the screen. If you want it in the center, change it to center. If you want it left, change it to left. Okay, pretty easy. We're going to save. And there's the photo. Now, under biography, this is uh, one thing I didn't put in here, I guess. You know, we can go in and edit, you know, Parhelion is a new player, but has quickly become a force to reckon with on the field. Perfect. And then save. And then now you can see the biography here. Biography, this is a if you have a backstory, a character history, different things that you want to throw in here, go for it. Um, I took it off mine, not really my thing, but if you want it, it's there for you. And like just like that, we have 
the page set up and ready to go for Parhelion. So if you are a LARP organizer or an event runner, I highly recommend that you make a wiki. It's an incredible resource for your players. It's going to be something that they use all the time. It's pretty easy to set up, pretty cost effective, will only help your game. If you're a player, I would highly recommend you create one. If you're an Amp Guard player or a Belgarth player, makes it, uh, it's just a lot of fun to be able to go in and update your stuff and then have people who can follow and read more about you. Uh, but then it makes it easier for people who are making you awards or wanting to make you gifts to have all your information in one solid spot. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you slash that like button. It really does help out the channel. If you have any ideas for further videos that you would like to see me make, put those down in the comments below. Really appreciate you for making it to the end. My name's St. Godric. I'll see you next time. Peace.